Welcome to Lounge TV, guys. I'm doing a, what would you call this? A do it yourselfer or? A, yeah, that works. Uh, something like that. But it's an um, assembly video. I'm going to be assembling my new smoker. Now, this one's a pit boss. The other one was a master built um, smoker. It rusted down the bottom, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, Tom probably did it in, but it would have been done in no matter. It's not 100% Tom's fault. Tom just, I think, he aged it by probably a couple days. Um, obviously, they only let it only lasted, I'd say, about two years, right, Tom? Uh, I, I like think that. that's what we, we figured out around two years. And I guess I got my money's worth out of it, I guess. I don't know. So, I wanted to try a different brand just to see how it works out. So, I'm trying a Pit Boss, and uh, this isn't quite as big as my other one. My other one, I think, it was 700 and some cubic feet. Of, or is it cubic feet? I think so. Or cubic inches. Excuse me. Yeah, if it was feet, that'd be pretty dang big, wouldn't it? That'd be a walk-in. Yeah. Uh, I could smoke Tom in there. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Uh, this is five, I think it's 500 and some. But this one, I don't know if you can see it on the box here. It is a, they say it's a five-in-one. It can braise, smoke, bake, roast, and barbecue. Now, I am only using this as a smoker. I doubt I would use it as a barbecue when I have a barbecue grill, or uh, I probably wouldn't bake it because I'd be baking it in the house. Unless it's hot in the summertime, we could we could bake it in there, but uh, it's mostly going to be used as a smoker. So here comes the fun part, uh, putting it together. So I already opened it up, guys. Now I didn't take anything out of the box other than the instructions earlier because I just wanted to see what kind of tools I'm going to need in this comes with a nice a nice uh, assembly booklet here and most important thing is pictures because uh, that's what I need but uh, it says that all you need is a screwdriver and a wrench I have this little set it's called a husky I recommend anybody get this set because it has not only does it have little ratchets in it it also has all kinds of screwdriver now Phillips screwdriver I always use this this is a cheap handle came with a cheap tool set but I have a titanium uh, bit in here and it's magnetic inside so it helps to keep it in there um, titanium is the is one of the best ones that you can get because if you ever if you ever do handiwork and you're using a Phillips screwdriver inevitably you strip the screw or you strip the screwdriver kind of you break all the points off of there because they're made so cheap that was weird. Not sure what that was, guys. It was our oh, was that my phone? Yes. Oh, somebody's trying to contact me. I'm that important, guys. So now I get the fun part of taking this out. Now, here's the thing, guys. You know, it's very hard. You know, this is like almost 60 pounds. You, you know, it's not easy to lift that up there. So what I'm going to do is just there's staples in the box. I'm going to just rip the box open. That's the easiest easiest way to do it right there now if you have to ship it back <laughs> you got a slight problem I just thought of that after I did that hopefully we have everything in here and everything works perfectly so anyway it's kind of like that's what you have to do with a refrigerator too if you're if you're uh, opening, okay, and of course it's backwards. So there it is, guys. It looks pretty easy. You think it's assembled? Nah. I guess all the parts are on the inside of it. I'll put these over here for Tom to clean up later. Uh huh. Huh? I heard I something. I was gonna make a joke about how. And there we go. It's already assembled. Yeah, right. So, uh, I yeah. beat I beat you to it. Yeah. Sorry. You gotta be quicker than that, Tom. Okay. So here we go. Up. Oh, yep. It's always a box in a box. Do you ever notice that? A box in the inside the thing inside of a box. Always lots of trash too. So. You know, one of the things I like to do, I don't know if you want to swivel that over this way. I like to 
set everything out. Okay, so these are actually all, it looks like all the, uh, let me just make sure this wasn't important. No, of course not. It's just Joe. So I'm gonna take all the, all my parts, and what I like to do is I like to put them all out here. Like so. So I know where they're at. And then I can put all the more trash over here for Tom. Huh? Did you hear something? Was that you sighing, Tom? Wow. That's the astounding sound of silence and no response. Oh. You mean like, uh, talking about like uh, Simon and Garfunkel? Sounds of silence? Not particularly, yes. Okay, there we go. Nothing like a box, another box, and that's, that's where all the weight was, obviously. Now, you wanna take all the packet stuff out of there because it wouldn't be good to start smoking. That's one of the things. Well, worst things about like, not worse, but you, you have to season smokers. So. Oh, at least you have to see inside of it, that's cool. Yeah, that's what, one of the things that I liked about it when I saw it online, was I was like, you know, I wanted one with a glass front to be able to see inside of it. So, I'm gonna open up a box over here. And this is, this is, uh, yeah, this is where you really realize, oh crap. Sometimes it can be overwhelming when you have so many parts to something and uh, you're like, oh crap, I got to put all this stuff together. Is this, am I going to be able to do this? Yeah, you can. Believe me, if I can do it, anybody can. And here goes all your your bolts and your, uh, it's got a zip tie in there too. Not sure what that's for, but we'll find out. Yep. Oh yeah, there's lots of parts in here. This is gonna be fun. Now, for the sake of you guys, at some point, boy, they're gonna make me put everything together on this thing. Wow. Uh, for the sake of you guys, we will get to certain parts and we will just uh, either fast forward it or do what we can, depending on how long this video is actually going to take. It's going to take me 15 minutes just getting everything out of this package and just to get ready to be put together. Um, not sure what the heck that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it never ends. I should have brought a trash bag out, Tom. Um, you gonna run in and grab one real quick? Nah, because I want you to be in charge of the camera. Well, I'm sure we're gonna have to take a break at some point, Tom. Beer break, you know, or something. Yeah. Yeah. There is a lot of parts to this. Yeah. Nothing like putting parts on a black table so you can find them easily. Right, Tom? Look, they're a uh, fairly distinctive shape. It's like here's a leg. It's definitely a leg. And it even tells you right on it. It's got a little writing on it that says right front leg. See how easy that is? Huh? On bright blue. On bright blue. And left front leg. So we'll keep those two together. How many times, guys, have you ever put anything together and you don't, because I'm talking to the guys now, not the women, because women are different than guys. You didn't read the directions. All you did was you looked at the pictures. Oh, that's simple. I'll put, this leg, put the legs on. You put the legs on, then you find out, oh crap. I was supposed to put the right leg up in the front and not in the back and you know and then you got to take it off and put it back on. How many people have done that? Raise your hand. I probably did it. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, 
It's like that one uh, control knob. handy on our new fridge when we were trying to bring it in and take the one door off. Oh, that was a pain in the neck, wasn't it? No, you're trying to reverse the door. Yeah. I couldn't figure out how to actually reverse it. There's the burner. That's the part that'll rust out, Tom. Go ahead. You're trying to reverse it, yeah. I remember that was a pain in the neck. And we got the, uh, then we, then we get the, we couldn't figure out how to get the bottom door back in or something like that, the drawer. Uh, yeah, the drawer proved to be a bit of a mess. So. I think it came out pretty easily. We just couldn't get it back in. Oh, yeah. I think we hooked it back up and we were like, it didn't seat properly. And yeah. we couldn't close it all the way. So we're like, what the rails the wasn't lined up right. Yeah, what Tom did, I'm sure. What? I'm the one who looked at the instructions and figured out. I have to blame you. Ow, my eye. Are you happy? You can get anywhere close to your eye. Try more of a risk of putting your eye out with that thing. Oh, here's another leg. Here we, oh, with a okay. wheel. Ooh. Uh, left rear. Left rear. This is here. And of course, this is the right rear. And you know, just when you think you're getting to the bottom of the package, <laughs> you aren't really. Is this intimidating for you guys? I don't know how it can be. You're not the one that has to put it together. Tom is, I mean, I am. Okay, so this, this, looks, this is all partly put together in here. This looks like the bottom of it. We've got a little tray. Like the bottom here is all it's not tightened but it's it's on there so well, that's good. huh well, that's good yeah here's another uh, that must be the wood chip because i was like the wood chip tray because i was looking for that i'm like where the heck is the wood chip tray that's all trash put this right here there's some parts in here there's parts in here that I, I don't even know how you get out. It's like a puzzle. Oh, here we go. This is a little drawer. And I think that that drawer is for grease. Pretty sure. And then you got this. Which I'm sure is just for that part that we just saw down there. Huh. Maybe this is for the chips. I'm not really sure. I gotta get that. If I don't get them pieces out of there, we're gonna have problems. Okay, there we go. Delicious plastic things. Uh, maybe this is for the. This has got to be for the chips, because it's got little holes in the bottom, right, and holes in the top. That's got to be for the chips. Yeah. This one must be for the uh, like grease pan the water. water. The water. Is it, did I make everybody happy with that one? Because I say water. You know what you guys should do is, yeah, I think this is the, the water pan or the water pan. What you guys should do, Google the word, the definition of water and the pronunciation of it. And you will see that it is proper to pronounce it water or water. Just saying. I already checked it out. And besides that, if you know what somebody means, who cares? Yeah, I'm sensitive about it. You got a problem with that? <laughs> anyway, I am going to now start the assembly process. I'm going to take a break just to get a bag to clean this stuff up real quick so we have enough room to do this. And then we'll turn the camera right back on. First step it says is that you want to take your lower unit here and put your legs on it. So this is where it comes in. Okay, so this is the right rear leg. Okay, so let's see. Right rear has got to be right here. And it says that you're going to use um, 12B screws. So I have them in my pocket. So we'll just go like this and put these in. And then Tom can fast forward all this stuff. Right, Tom? Uh, it is. Well, I'll show one, then we can cut, and I'll put the other ones on, and then you come back to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
All right, so here, here's what you do, guys, for this. Very easy. Take your screwdriver, tighten these up. There's two of them here, and then there's, I'll show you this in a second. And then there's one right inside here, like this. There you go. That's all there is to it. So now I can do, I'll do this one, this one, well, I can do this one next, and then I'll do these two, and uh, we'll go to the next step. Next step, all the legs are on. So the next step is your, your panel here. Now, they gave this loose, the, the bottom screws were loose. If you did have to put them in, you wanna have them loose so that you can adjust this. Because what you're gonna do is put a little screw in here, which happens, happens to be a little, you need little fingers for this stuff. Um, this happens to be a little bit smaller than the other ones that we had. start this one it's funny because I and let me ask you guys if you've ever done this because I do it all the time I'll tighten the screws up and then I'll get to the next step or something and it'll say uh, but I'll, I'll reread the first step and it says don't tighten the screws all the way yeah I'm sure you guys have done that I can't be the only one can I, yeah, can I? Be. huh what what I heard something so I am going to tighten these because you know what it's not that it's not that hard to loosen them up either, you know? I'm not, I tighten them, but I don't, I don't over tighten them. Okay, so now I can tighten these down here. And that step was pretty easy. And then we can go to the next step. Next step is a brace for the back. So take that and I notice there's always there's little scratches on there not for me came like that that'll be the first place at rust naturally but at least this isn't that important except for a brace so now I'll tell you one thing guys um, starting off these little tiny screws is a pain in the neck but you got to be careful you like you know like I'm not doing it in the best place that you can because uh, our deck has some spaces in the floor that uh, one of these could probably fall. Uh oh, no, I saw that. But it could fall in there, and then uh, and then I'm screwed. Get it? Uh. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Give your dad a break, will you? See now, like right now, this is. There you go. I got to pull it a little bit to get that started because. I tighten the screws up on there and it needs to actually come a little bit this way, but I got it anyway, so there you go. We might, you, you can keep the camera on for this time. I'm just gonna tighten this up. It's a beautiful day here, guys. It's like 75, I think today is the high. If you're saying, Uncle Larry's shirt looks a little small for him, this is an old shirt. And uh, it used to actually be one of my favorite shirts because it it said uh, something about beer. Remember Tom in German? Where's the beer or something like that, I think it said. I honestly don't remember. Okay, there we go. There's the next step there. Now for the next step, beer break. Guess who had to tell him exactly where one of those things went? That'd be me having why, to tell him. Why would you say that? Now you better cut all that out. Next, nope. next thing to do is these things right here, which are called the uh, support something on the side. These go all the way down like that, and there's one for each side. This guy thought that they went up to the next one above that. You want a cookie? Actually, yes, I would. I wish I had a cookie right now, too. And there goes the little breeze. One of the things you want to make sure, guys, is when you're doing this with these little screws and stuff, don't cross strat them. I don't know if you know what that means, Tom, do you? Um, I'm assuming it would mean... You know, when you're starting to screw out, if you if you have it on an angle, you cross thread it, and what happens is it just chews them all up. Gotcha. And you'll wind up stripping it. Not a good thing. Okay. 
So I have them all started. Tighten these up on this side, and then I can do the other side. A lot of times when you cross thread, you wouldn't even be able to get it all the way in. It'll get real hard, and then you got a problem. Now, some people would pay to have this done. You know that, Tom? I believe it. I myself, I enjoy doing this. I like, I think it's kind of like problem solving, for one, which I always love to do. And for two, I just like working with my hands, like with jobs like this. Tom actually, you know, you guys don't understand that, but Tom does too. That's one thing about Tom, ever since he was a kid, and I think, did that bug just fly on my head? I didn't even notice. Um, when he was, ever since he was a kid with Bionicles. He loved Bionicles, putting them together and stuff like that, so. Um, oh yeah, I was huge into Bionicles. Yeah, so, you actually enjoy As I'm that. sure you probably have been able to tell by seeing the shelves of them in my room. <laughs> and you enjoy it though. Oh yeah, for sure. Like even working on your computer and stuff. Like when you had to install a new fan and stuff like that, you did it yourself? Yep, installing new fans, uh, building my computer chair, which the last computer chair that I still have right now was really confusing because it's got like this one like hydraulic thing. Because remember I had to bring that out to you because I could not understand what I was supposed to do with it. Yeah, I, I showed you. I don't remember if you did or if you had no idea too. No, I showed you. How else did you do it? Trial and you error. You don't give me credit for anything, do you, Tom? Nope. Nope, that's what I thought. This is what I deal with, guys. No credit for nothing. But I guess you all can say, well, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Because I don't give Tom a whole lot of credit for a lot of stuff. Nope. I give him credit for uh, making me buy a new smoker, which I would have had to do anyway. So. Yeah, you credit me for bad things. I know, right? That's not, that's not a nice thing, is it? No, it isn't. What's wrong with you? That's what I want to know. Me too. What's wrong with me? Anyway, this was one of the easier steps, I think. Actually, all these so far, pretty easy. There's going to be some part I'm going to get to, you guarantee it, where I'm going to be like, uh, Tom, what's what's this part? Where, where's this part at? Or something like that, right? And then I'll look at the instructions and be like, dude, you were supposed to install that like three steps ago. Yeah. All right. Let me look at the instruction booklet for the next one. Guys, I want to show you this. I'm going to take it off for a second so that they actually can see. This is the next step that you take the burner part and you're putting it down here. Well, this was a little tricky because as you can see right here, they have to go over, these two have to fit in there. And I was having a little trouble with them because they didn't quite fit and I kind of had to force them. But what wasn't smart of doing that was, first thing you want to do, and it doesn't, I don't think it said it in the instruction booklet. Let me see. Oh yeah, it did. I didn't read that part. You have your ignition wire right here, right? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that you put you put that in first. Okay, so snap that in there like that. Push it in as far as it'll go. Then get them lined up, and then it kind of almost snaps in, and it'll line all four of these holes right here up. And then it's going to take four screws for that. I call these screws, but they're kind of, they're more like bolts because a screw, I always thought they had a, like a point on the end. You know what I mean? Um, what, are, what would these things be called? Screws or bolts? Because I mean, I'm using a screwdriver for it. Let me see what, hold it. You know what? The way to find out is, let's see what it says. No, they call them screws. So they're screws. I guess they're screws because they have a, you have to use a screwdriver for it, right? Makes sense. Are you are you Googling it for real? I am. A bolt is a non-tapered fastener that uses a washer and nut to hold things together. A screw is a tapered oh. fastener that mates with an existing thread or creates its own thread okay. material as it turns. So it's not tapered, but yeah, and it is actually going into a, um, you know, a nut that's on the other end that's th it's threading into. So I don't understand what exactly, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. You're or, saying that because you're working with tools. Or the, 
sharpest knife in the drawer. But I know how to get things done. Throw these in like so. I don't like using a cordless drill or a drill for any of this kind of stuff because uh, first of all, you wouldn't even be able to get it inside most of this stuff. You could on the outside, but uh, you'll wind up over tightening too much. So I'd rather do it. I'd rather do it all by hand. There you go. That that was pretty easy. So it says the next step is putting the dampers in there, guys. And uh, this is going to be a little tricky because you got to work from both sides here. Put these on the inside. Line them up. Put your bolt tab on it that's supposed to be outside of it, just so you know. What's that? I'm telling them that there's a little tab on the outside of it. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the little tab right here, guys. That'll go towards the towards the out outside. Um, then you gotta take one of these little these little washers and a little nut and try not to drop them. And So as you can see, you can open and close this, I believe. Oh, that's hot. Sun's beating down on it. Um, it looks like you can only close them so far. You would think that this would go over top of that, but it does not. So it's always open, I guess, at least somewhat. I don't like that. It seems to me like it should, it should be able to close all the way. So I might, I might just, uh, I'm gonna see how this one works on this one. It does the same thing. I'm going to, uh, I might actually just bend these tabs out a little bit, like that. I mean, does the diagram say it's supposed to close all the way? Well, my other smoker, I want to, I want to be able to, to, suppose you were using it as an oven, Tom. You would want, you don't want the That's heat going out. Point. That's a very good point. That's a multi-purpose thing, yeah. Yeah, I think it was, I, I think it's just not, See, like the right there, that one, this one will actually go over top of it, so it will, it'll go almost all the way. That's what I'm gonna do with the other one, just bend this tab just a little bit out so that it'll go all the way. That way you can, you can turn it all the way, one way or the other. And uh, after I get this one, we'll go to the next step. I have them on there now, and if you see, I, I, I made it so that they can close all, they close almost all the way, not quite but it's further than what they did. So I like that better. Um, now the next step is that we're gonna put this on. And this is a handle on the back. And did I say it goes this way or the other way? I can't remember. Um, the screw parts are down. Okay. I told Tom which way it goes and uh, I couldn't remember now. All right, so I'm gonna start that. There are lots of bugs around here, don't we? Yeah. Well, I mean, we do practically live in the woods. Yep. go and so got that on there now nice big old handle on there perfect for something I'm not sure what that's for <laughs> I really don't know unless it's to tilt back so that you can wheel it I don't uh, that know makes sense. we'll that find out a lot of sense. now I gotta go look at the instruction booklet for the next step ok 
Okay. The next step is actually assembling, putting that onto this. Oh. I wonder where that goes. I hope we didn't miss that. Now oh, there it goes. It goes on the side. Oh, to hold the tank. That's to hold the tank on. Uh, that's what that is? That's weird. Hmm. I think it is. Not positive. Well, now we know. Yeah. Alright, so the next step is going to be for that. Let me just get this stuff. I'm going to need six number tens, or six letter C. Which are these. Okay, and I will put this down on the ground and we'll, we'll put that on top of this and uh, hook it up. Ready to turn it on? So the next step is... We're going to attach this to that. You know what? It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. It is. I mean, the inside isn't like where it's supposed, you know. Actually, that's quite a bit of room inside there, isn't it? I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah, Muzzy, yeah. All right, so now. I see it looks larger than the old one. Got to try to, try to uh, line all these holes up. And there's six screws that are going inside this. I know it's boring right now, Tom. In there. So we will finish doing this and then we will go to the next step. Next thing you want to do is get your six grids here, cooking grids. Uh, and there's, there's a lot more than six. Yeah, well, there is, there's six. Oh, they're attached together. Yeah, and you put them in here. These are adjustable, so you can put them in somewhere else later. Right, so right now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do like this. Okay, and then you want to put the other ones on the exact same spot that you put them in. So, I went down here. Oh, that's not right. What am I doing wrong here? Yeah, there you go. It's backwards. Is that my phone again? Yep. Guarantee it's Joe. That's only a call. Is it? Yeah, you can see that we're putting all the racks in. That's where all the grids okay, for the, uh, the for the grills are supposed to go. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Did you have it rolling all that time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we want to go one, two, three. I went three. We're gonna go three here. Put that in, and then I went one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go like that. Pretty easy, isn't it? Seems and like it. The next step, we can go right into the next step, Tom, because that's putting your get your finger out from stuck in there. Put the grills in. And put them in. That's pretty easy, huh? This one might might want to move that one down one, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's how that's how you guys can adjust it with that. Let's put this one down. It's pretty easy to do. Put that in. Put this down. I might want to lower that. I might want to lower that top one too. No, I think that. Did you put it in oh, right? No, I think I got it a little cocky wampus. What do you think, Tom? How's that? 
That's not right either. You didn't move the one, back two, one. Three. One, two, three. Now, did I lower too much now? No, that's right. Uh, uh, I'm going to lower this one one. That or put that back up one that's and then move the was. top one up one. I don't want to move the top higher. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know what? I'm going to leave it just like that. We're going to leave it now. like that. Um, now, you know what? We usually almost always cook on the top. So I'm going to lower this one. That's better. We almost never use the bottom one. I wish there was one more hole so we go all the way down, but there's not. That's the lowest you can put it. Uh, I think that's fine. We usually use the top two anyway, um, and that's that's there perfect. Is it one more? Huh? It looks like there's one more. No, there isn't. That's that's like a um, a bolt hole. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so after that, what we want to do is we want to put the heat indicator in the door assembly. The heat indicator, or as it's more commonly known, a thermometer. Yes, is this. So it already has its that on there, the wing nut, and we're going to put this. You do want to make sure. Uh, you know what? There's a little. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little it. hole there. Yeah. And it has a little there, so you you have to get it. You have to get it so that it's in there. You know what I'm saying? So you can't. So you have the number straight up. And there you go. Oh, that's beautiful. These are the easy steps now, guys. And now the, the next thing is going to be is putting these little door latches on right here. Um, Very important. Yes. Uh, and we'll get to that. This next step is the door latch. And you want to make sure it's this way on this one. It's kind of opposite of our other one. There's two little screws here that are not real easy to get to to start them out. But once you get them started, it's a little bit easier. Tighten them up on there. Okay. So this is going to kind of go like that to latch. Remember how the, like these were on the outside before and you put them over and then you latched it? Yeah. These are a little bit different. And then the next step is going to be the other part of it. Let me get the... Uh, hardware for it and everything and make sure that I am correct with this oh did you move my thing no you look okay. the thing off of it and then the wind push okay I'll let you slide I'll let you slide Tom okay so this now is going on the door you can stay where you were and I'm gonna this in there first. Break that screw. There's a little rubber gasket that goes in there too, guys. I don't know if you could see it or not when I was doing that. Um, there we go. Then you can tighten these up. Pretty simple. Tom, you could have put this together, couldn't you? Sure. I know you could have. I should have let you do it. People like to see you a lot more than me anymore. <laughs> okay, so this goes like that, and that doesn't even come close to getting it. So, how in the world can that get to there when there's not that much? Hold it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. I'm so backwards here. There's plenty of this. You gotta go the other way, Tom. It goes on this thing right here, see? Ah, but right? that keeps it partially yeah. open. So you gotta, no, because you gotta find the right spot to latch it. Nope, not yet. So, I wish it was preset, but it was not. That's no, still not. <sighs> wonder if, if that nut was where it was supposed to be the whole time. See how that goes? It still looks a little bit open. Is it supposed to be that way? I guess it is all the way close. Well, it's got a gasket in there. I'm going to make it a little bit tighter than this because I like it. There we go. Let's try it like... 
See this little nut right here? Mm -hmm. That's to tighten it up so you can't. There you go. That's perfect. It's a nice tight seal on there. And it opens up like that. Just put it like that on there. It's pretty easy. It's got a nice little rubber thing right there. Pretty nice. I like keep it from getting too hot. Yes. Remember the other one had these big giant springs on it on the on the door and stuff to open, which was which was really nice because you uh it they never got hot. Yep. Never burnt myself on them ever. So we will go to the next step now. We're not done. I missed the step, guys. It happens. It's Tom's fault. He was talking to me. That's what I say to that. That was rude. Uh. That was ruder. So, this goes down here, guys. I just have to try to find the holes where it actually goes. And I don't see them. Hmm. Oh. You know why? Because there is no holes in the back. This just rests. This just rests. You might want to take this one out for this. It'll be a little bit easier. Probably help. This just rests back here. The two holes are right here in the front like that. And this is for your water pan or your water pan. And that just sits in there like that. That's the step we missed. Um, obviously, you're going to have to take this out just to put water in there. Or you're going to have to pour it right like that. I kind of like the design on the other one. The other one, um, it pulled out on a, and you could fill it up. Yeah, you didn't have to yeah, open on, up on the top one, part. You're going to have to open this up and uh, probably move this. And we might wind up moving all these up a little one step so it's a little bit easier to, to get. Well, it's just designed that you're not supposed. That you're supposed to just like fill it up as much as you're supposed to, and then yeah. not have to touch it again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that and the other step I missed was this is called like a grease catcher thing i think uh let me see i mean i want to make sure that like i'm calling it oh it's the gre grease shield to the door assembly and i did not even see this before but you want to put this in and come and you have to get these little tiny screws in there and this is just going to attach to the inside of this door i need my screwdriver because this these things are tiny so, it's going to go right here. There's little holes in here. So, I'm going to. If you can see, this is a little bit of a pain here. There we go. That's starting to go. There you go, perfect. Huh? I said, there you go, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's perfect, Tom. No, it's fine. There we go. These are self-tapping screws right here. I'm not going to tighten any of these up until I get them all started. Because one thing you don't want, when you have a whole bunch of screws that you have to put in like this, don't uh, don't over tighten them until you get them, or even start tightening them. Oh, this is, there we go. It's got a bite in it. Oh, it doesn't want to go in. This one's a little bit harder because if you can see, there's a little lip here. Same with the other side. Yeah. I don't like that. So I'm just going to start each one of these. Now you can do you can take the door off and and do this. Which I believe the door just lifts up. And last but not least, this one. So let me tighten all these up guys. And then we can finally get to the next step. Because this was supposed to be done already, but I missed this one. And this happens when uh, it's a little breezy outside and the uh, page flipped on me. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's a ticket. Just when you think you're done, nope, you're not. You got this little bracket thing you got to put on. Done. This is for your your tank, so that you can clamp your tank to the side so it doesn't move. The other one didn't have this. We it just sat there. I don't even think you really actually need this. Ooh. Okay, so this there's four spots right here to get this on there. Like 
to and pretty easy this this part right here all I keep hearing is a rooster crowing do you hear that I hear it you know what it makes me think of what putting a chicken in this smoker and smoking a chicken hmm. I can almost taste it There's a lot of parts of this, isn't there, Tom? Yep. But, so far, what do you think? Pretty easy. Pretty much. Time consuming, but pretty easy. Okay, there's that. The, the thing I really didn't really care for with this is that it's on that side. There's no spot to put it over on this side. It has to go on that side, and we kind of always had the gas on this side, but now it'll just be on the other. It's not that big a deal. But it just, just looked nice because you had everything on the line on that side, yeah, whereas now yeah. it's going to be like partially there and partially here. So now on to the next step. Okay. What are we here? Do, 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 oh, there's do. not too much left. Sliding wood chip box with lid assembly into the lower smoker cabinet. And that would be this right here. But this has this. Hmm, sliding it in, but you gotta first put this little handle on there too. And so you use that and you need you need two number C's. Number C's? Those are letters. And that's all there is, is two. Huh? You said number C's. Oh, a letter C. You need them, and what these go is like this. Put it like this, I don't know, can you see that? It goes right through here and into that little handle. This is where you need like really nim nim nimble thinners. that and there we go now we just tighten these up you know it's funny because it, it always looks nice when you first get them nicely painted and all that then by next year it'll be all rusted out yeah. And then the next thing you know, your son will be touching it and it won't work anymore. That's just how, how things go, guys. So the next thing you want to do is just slide this bad boy right into... Looks like it goes into here. Oh, it's a lot easier than the other one. Yeah. Doesn't it seem like there should be a cover over this? There's got to be another step here, guys. You mean like uh, that thing over there? This doesn't seem like it. Oh. Well, guys, this is where you read directions first. Ouch, and that's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. This is where you read directions first, because... Uh, that goes in between. See, I looked at a picture, Tom. Mm-hmm. I didn't pay very close attention to it. Gotta read instructions. Gotta read them, guys. Because if you don't read them, this is what you're doing. You're taking something apart and then putting it back together again. And at least it's just a small piece easy to disassemble like this. That is true. It's like you have to get all the way to the... And that's not too bad. I did, I did pretty good. This is my only time I had to take something apart to put it back together. That is true. So, I count that as a plus. So what you want to do before you put that there is put this on. And this goes, let's make sure that we have it the right way. The wide part towards the bottom, yes. Which actually is towards the top. I'm gonna put that. Try to line this up, guys. There we go. Right there. Now it's even harder. It's always annoying to have to like go through multiple pieces as opposed to just like yes. attach two. Yes, it is. And this. 
come on, son of a mama. Right, so this is this is might be a little bit of a pain, guys, because you know why? I'm gonna have to hang this over the edge of the table so like that. Sit level. Right, exactly. And then take this and try to start. I'm gonna try to start it. Nah, looks like it has to start that way. There we go. I got it started. Now I'm do it do this again. Side. Yep. There we go. There we go, guys. Now I can tighten this up again. It's like deja vu all over again. It's not that easy to get into these spots. This I do want to tighten up pretty good because I don't want the handle to get loose. There. Now, this is how it's supposed to go, guys. Maybe not. Why is it not sliding in now? It did last time. What'd you do, to, what'd you do Tom? Oh. Oh, that's right. There it is, guys. That's how it looks better. Seems like this side should lift up though, doesn't it? Yeah, so you gotta take this all the way out, put your wood chips in, and then slide it back. Well, I guess that makes sense. This does not slide in very easily though. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that, guys. And it's funny because it slid in just fine the first time. Yeah. I'm not a fan of oh, sliding easily that time too, Tom. Still a lot better than the old system. Yeah, you don't have to open a, a door for that. So then the next one is uh, after that. Well, it looks like there's only two things left. Yep, is this and this. And neither one of these, do you have any screws or anything? There, there's, I guess, is there anything left in here? Hold it, yeah, there is. H. Where does H go? Hmm. Seems to me like we might have missed some screws somewhere, Tom. Unless maybe there are spares? I don't know, but uh, we'll put this on and then we're going to have to figure that all out. Yeah, force it, spread. Doesn't seem like That's right. There we go. You got to push in to, to turn it on. There you go, and turn it off. That's for the gas. And this is the grease tray right here that just slides in like that. There, there we, we go. go. Now, all I have to do is go back in the instructions and try to find out where those two little screws are that Tom missed. Yeah, because I don't want to sound like this. I'm baffled. So am I. Looks like I was right again. It was just spare parts. Yeah, it literally said, I had to look at the table contents, it said H, spare, spare parts. What was that? Not like an explosion. Somebody put a smoker together. <laughs> Somebody put their smoker together wrong. So the one one next thing you have is a zip tie, and you you do that for this for your gas line right here, and just put that in there like, like so, and pull that. Um, you can also it's got a little hook there so that you can hook it there on the side when you don't have a tank there. There you go, and then you can clip that off, guys, right there. Um, I'll get I'll get my clippers out for that. So now. It is all assembled. That didn't take but 16 hours. No, I'm just kidding. Probably took an uh, hour and a half, maybe, Tom? Um, yeah, that sounds about right. Not an hour and a half, but you know, took a few breaks. Um, we, and we cut the camera. There goes my phone. 
bumpus. He's been constantly texting me. It's like he don't have no life. <laughs> uh, so anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this there because the next step I'm gonna have to do is I gotta season this thing. Ouch! That is really hot from the sun. And season it means that um, you have to wipe it down with oil, vegetable oil on the inside. You got to turn it on, turn it to a certain, let it get so hot and cook for a while because it has never been used. I will show you that still, we're not done the video yet. I'm going to show you that next step in a few minutes. Now for the big part, guys, that is seasoning your smoker. Uh, the one thing I've read about this is I don't need to oil everything down. These are ceramic coated grates, so I don't need to put the oil on them. So I'm going to open this up. You want to open this up first before you light your, your grill or your smoker. I have this filled with water, water right now. Don't overfill it because you don't want it boiling over the top. Anyway, uh, make sure your gas is turned on here first. So what you want to do is you want to turn that on the high and hopefully it starts. If it doesn't start, you turn it off right away, guys. Okay, because you don't want that gas to build up and then That'd be bad. That would be real bad. Alright, so now I'm going to try it again. There, now I got it lit now, guys. Um, take out your... That's gonna, that could be a problem with, uh, later on, Tom. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to have to use a... Uh, oh, oh, going to have to use a uh, pot holder for this, for sure. For those um, gloves. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The, the gloves. Um, we're gonna put these in here You want your smoker to get up to about it said 300 degrees for It said 45 minutes to an hour, so we're just going to do this for an hour I want to put all this wood chips that I have in here Got some stragglers in here There, there you go guys slide that back in Hopefully it goes in easy. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I'm not exactly sure. No. I see what my problem was. Were we like tilting it? There's a lid on there. I was getting it between the lid and the bottom part. Ah. Okay, so now we're going to close that up. Go like that. Going to wait till we see it get up to 300 and, and adjust it then. Um, the, the gas. And uh, an hour, guys. An hour. So, after you've done that, you're good to go for smoking. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't have my, uh, well, yes I do. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is our new smoker. Okay, we're going to have many, many good things coming out of this. I want to try smoking some onions. I want to try smoking some garlic. I really want to try smoking a lot of stuff, but you know, to eat, that's what I meant. Cooking things in the smoker. Yeah. Until next time guys, grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up and relax, I'll meet you at the lounge.